Well, hello everyone. In this video lecture, we'll be solving problem number 1.48 of the book Aptitude Test Problems in Physics by S.S. Fudo. On a quick note, link for my previous video is given in the description below. Don't forget to check it out. Without wasting any more time, let's get right to it. So the question says, a homogeneous rod AB of length M of, of mass M and length L leans with its lower end against the wall against the wall and is kept in the inclined position by a string DC. DC is kept inclined at this point, point A. The string is tied at point C to the wall and at, and at point D to the rod. Point C at the wall and at point D at the rod. So that AD, AD equals AB by 3, that is L by 3. The angles formed by the string and the rod with the wall are alpha, are alpha and beta. The angle beta is formed with, with the rod and the alpha is with the string, formed with the string. Find all possible values of the coefficient of friction mu between the rod and the wall. So we have to find values of coefficient of friction mu between the rod and the wall. So The rod is under the action of three forces. The force of tension. This is the force of tension of the string. And the force of gravity. The force of gravity, which is mg, the weight. And the reaction of the wall. The reaction of the wall. R equals m plus the static friction. N is the normal reaction of the wall and F friction, FR is friction which gives us the condition mu N. When the rod is in equilibrium, the sum of the moments of these forces, the sum of the moments of these forces about any point is zero. For this condition to be satisfied, the line of action of the force R must pass through the point of intersection of the lines of action of T and MG. So it must pass through the lines of action of T, T, and action, depends, sorry, an action of T, it must pass through T and MG, so this is the line of action, the lines of actions to which the reaction force is passing through mg, passing through mg and t. So we name it m1 conditions, m1, m0, and m2. So these are the three cases in which the values of coefficient of friction will be different. So for the first condition that is M1, the equilibrium conditions of the law, the equations that are formed are T cos alpha, T cos alpha plus friction F, FR1, this will be friction pointing towards C in the upward direction. FR1. 
So in the first condition, first condition, friction is facing upwards. So T cos alpha plus F FR1 minus Mg equals zero. And along the x-axis, this is along the y-axis, y-axis, along the x-axis, T sine alpha equals n n equals t sin l along here t sin l and the moment about point a of t and mg the moments of t and mg are zero as we as, as we saw earlier so mg the arm let's name it a mg a it was the moment of mg about a point a we named the arm a so mg a equals T, this is the tension force and we name the arm for T equals B T B now let's find out the values of A and B so the value of A we can easily see it's L by 2 sin alpha sin beta sorry L by 2 sin beta because this distance from here, from A to this point, the center of gravity of the law is L by 2. And the angle is beta. So this line, this, this magnitude will be L by 2 sine alpha. The projection, the projection of L by 2 along the x-axis is A equals L by 2 sine alpha beta for B it is given that AD AD this distance is equal to L by 3 so L by 3 and we have this angle equal to alpha that is this angle must be alpha and the value of B, which is, a pro, which is the projection projection of AD along AB, which is sine alpha plus beta. I hope you got it. I hope you got it. Now, putting the values in this equation, mg L by 2 sine beta equals t l by 3 sine alpha plus beta this is for the first condition first condition and one now equating it when we find the value of tension Tension to be 3 by 2 mg sine beta by sine alpha plus beta. And from, in, from this equation, we get n equals 3 by 2 mg sine beta sine alpha divided by sine alpha plus beta. So now, putting these two equations in this, up in our first equation, we get 3, three by 2 mg 
sin beta by sin alpha plus beta plus we know that f equal 1 is s equal to mu n so we can put mu n in, so we can put mu n in place of fr1 there you go 3 by 2 mg sine beta sine alpha by sine alpha plus beta minus mg Now we will be waiting further. Let's just rub it out. Which gives us Mg minus 3 by 2 mg sin beta cos alpha divided by sin alpha plus beta which gives mu 3 by 2 mg sin beta sin alpha divided by sin Beta. And again, we, we have to find the value, the coefficient of friction, value of coefficient of friction, which gives, which gives us mg 3 by 2 mg sine beta sine alpha divided by sine alpha plus beta minus cos alpha sin divided by sin alpha. Further, we get 2 by 3 sin alpha plus beta divided by sin alpha sin beta minus 1 by 10 alpha. Rubbing it out. So we get so we have to simplify it more. So to simplify, we'll be converting. The values of sine into the into the values of ten. Ten. So converting sine alpha to ten alpha, something like that. So two by three sine alpha cos beta plus twice cos alpha sine beta divided by sine alpha sine beta minus 1 by 10 alpha which gives us 2 by 3 2 by 3 cos beta plus 2 by 3 cos alpha minus 1 by 10 alpha which again gives us 2 by 3 10 beta plus twice 10 alpha minus 3 minus 3 10 alpha divided by 3 10 square alpha. Moving 
which gives us mu equals 2 by 3 10 beta minus 1 by 3 10 alpha again 1 by 3 1 by 10 beta minus 1 by sorry 2 by 10 beta minus 1 by 10 alpha this is the value of the coefficient of friction. And now, let's look this up. We know that we know that static friction is less than equal to mu n, which gives us mu greater than equal to static friction divided by the norm, which is equal to the answer that we the answer that we got is two by ten beta minus one by ten alpha. This is for the first condition. M1. For M2, the friction is towards the negative y-axis, F, FR2, that is, F, FR2 is negative of F, FR1, which gives us Mu2 is equal to 1 by 3, 1 by 10 alpha minus 2 by 10 beta. This is for second condition for M2. And for the third condition, M0 on the perpendicular AM0, third condition, which we can also see this is equal to 10 beta minus twice 10 alpha divided by 10 alpha 10 beta for which the third condition 10 beta must be equal to twice 10 alpha putting this condition in the first equation first equation f f1 f one naught third condition 1 by 3 2 by in place of 10 beta we place 10 alpha minus 1 by in place of 10 alpha we place 10 beta by 2 which we get 1 by 10 alpha modulus we get modulus of 1 by 10 alpha minus twice by 10 beta. So these are the values of the coefficient of friction mu for each of the conditions that we arrived. So thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and also comment in the comment section below. Thank you.